I think one of the really strong things about when we talk about the fair trade nation in Wales is that it's about commitment to fair trade principles. Fair trade principles are broader than just one accreditation. It's about recognising that when you're dealing with producers, you need to treat them with the same respect you would expect with yourself. It's not about a necessarily an award scheme. It's about the people of Wales saying, right, what do we mean? What do we want? What does good look like? And then these criteria allow us to set those goals and targets to achieve. And what was great about it was that it set this fire alight in, in the belly of the Welsh people. We know when injustice is being done. One of the biggest challenges that I have and campaigners have is trying to get across the fact that, look, this is lovely coffee, but it doesn't just come out of a vending machine. In order for that coffee to get here, it has to have gone through a whole range of processes. And ultimately, someone at the very start of that process has worked incredibly hard in order to produce that good. And more often than not, with trading systems it is today, they don't get paid a fair amount for that, and they don't get the working conditions, environmental standards, all the rest of the things we would take for granted here in the UK. They don't get the things they deserve in order to produce that. And what we're essentially saying is, look, if we value that, and we do, then we need to value the person at the start of that chain as well. Do what works for you. And even if it's going out and buying fair trade one week and not the next, if, you, if that's all your income allows you to do, that buying one a month or once every other week can have a massive difference. Because if we all make our own contribution one way, what we're doing is we're telling governments, we are not standing for this, this isn't right. We're very proud we've got Welsh citizens all over the place, taking the opportunity whenever they can to show leadership in doing the right thing. Now, one of the things we'd like to do is make that as easy as possible for everyone to do. And that comes through, yes, um, publicity, through, it comes through campaigning, but also empowering people to be able to do that, partly through legislation, which hopefully is what the Future Generations Bill will do.